So my laboratory is very much focused at solving challenges that, that are at the interface between disciplines, be that chemistry and medicine, or biomedical engineering and chemical engineering. And by doing so, uh, we're really trying to advance our fundamental knowledge and then to take that knowledge and apply it to real problems. And that could be something as simple as trying to think about new ways to treat burn wounds or thinking about how to make lithium ion batteries work down an oil well so that someone could actually do a diagnostic experiment and tell you how much oil is there, or what the sulfur content is. And it's these problems, these challenges that come up to the interface that are particularly enjoyable to work on. They're difficult, they require communication between disciplines, and they require a lot of effort and creativity. And I think it's those types of attributes that make these types of projects really exciting. So for me, there's two aspects of working at a university that are really exciting. The first is uh, working with students and doing basic research. And the second is taking those ideas, what we've learned, and translating them to the clinic and making a difference in society. And I've been very fortunate in the past to have that happen a couple times. And so I've had a graduate student sit around a table, draw something on a napkin, go into the lab, work on that, and then actually become a company, actually then becomes a product. It generates income and revenue for people so they can have a normal daily life. And so this idea to do more than just basic science is really exciting. And I think um, it's important for me and to think about how I'm contri contributing to society. But I also think it's important for the students and their educational process to see that it's important to ask really fundamental questions and then to take that knowledge and apply it to real problems that face today's world. And be that in medicine or be that in energy, there's lots of areas where I think there is an unmet need.